we are off this morning as you guys would have seen it was like so productive i was running around getting a bunch of errands done right before we left which i'll tell you in a second where we are going but what did i do i went to nordstrom to go pick up a pair of snowshoes because where we're going it might be full of snow and then I picked up some Lululemon alterations, like my groove pants and the Ready to Rulu straight leg. And then I went and got my nails done, as you guys would have seen. They, girl, they were so bad. Like, I had four nails that were like half cracked. Like, it was, I couldn't believe I even made it to this appointment. But then I got these nails. They're like the donut glazed kind, like the Hailey Bieber inspired ones. I'm gonna have these like through Christmas and the new year. So I thought that they were like the perfect festive ones. Anyways, so where we're off to, <laughs> Juan is being the silent driver over here, he's over here. But we are going about an hour and a half east of where we live. We're going to Eastern Washington over the pass. We are going to Sancadia Resorts. I'm so excited for this little weekend getaway. <laughs> so it's just the weekend that we are getting away. We booked this like, beginning of November and we realized we don't really do any like weekend getaway staycations and so that's what essentially inspired us to want to go do this and in eastern Washington if you start to go over the pass it's like well so Kwame is there so it's the mountains it's snow so it's kind of like a winter wonderland getaway sort of thing it's gonna be so much fun I've never been to San Katie before I can't even speak to it because I really don't know anything about it but I'm sure they're gonna have like tons of winter activities like ice skating or going sledding like I don't know I'm so excited I'm here for it so we're gonna take you along on our little weekend getaway and it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, the long road trip ahead of us we just got in the car and we just left it's almost 4 p.m. and we're a little behind schedule, but that's okay. Like the whole thing about this, we are in no rush. We have no schedule. We're good. We're good. Even though the drive is so short, like I said, like only an hour and a half, we have a car full of snacks. You have to grab snacks always. I know this is such like a minor little road trip, but like that's what makes a road trip is snacks. So we have that. And it's such a sunny day. Babe, this is exciting. Do you want to get the coffee? No, you couldn't get your coffee either. <laughs> so we checked in and I was gonna do like a room tour and stuff, but we like put everything inside and then immediately went downstairs to try to get Juan some coffee because he was like dying for some coffee. And then we just like walked around the resort just to see like what was all around here. And then we came back upstairs to get in the room, like, okay, let's figure out our game plan and then leave again. You guys, we can't even get into the room at all. Like our keys aren't working. We changed them three times. We had an engineer come up, but he's not really sure he wants to, ask somebody else to come help but he's busy like <laughs> how long has this been babe 20 minutes 30, 30 minutes oh we're just chilling right here babe say hi <laughs> chilling in the hall unbelievable i'm starving you're starving babe it's 6 p.m oh, I, I think the good news though babe is that i put my credit card on the room so she said that we can charge in the restaurant to the room and it would charge the credit card so we don't need like an actual oh you have your wallet i was gonna say we don't even need our wallet well does he even have a jacket why do you leave the room without a jacket what do you mean i'm like i'm fully in winter time no i wouldn't have a coffee uh, keep you posted, see how long this takes, but I'm trying to stay positive and just like laugh. But this is uh, quite the start to the trip. <laughs> the room is really nice. I can't wait to show you guys if we ever get in there. Maybe, babe, all of our stuff is lost and gone forever. We're never getting in there. He said, yeah, there's, there's no other way to get in the room. Well, you're gonna break down the effing door. <laughs> 
I can't. We finally got into the room. Babe, how long was that? Whoa. Two hours! I cannot believe it, but we went down to the bar and I had a glass of wine and I'm a little tipsy off of one glass of wine, you guys. It's a little absurd, but I think it's because it's on an empty stomach. We did have a, some poutine as well, but it was mostly for one because he was more hungry than I was. But now, we got into the room and got a little bit more settled. I'll do like a full room tour in the morning once it's light out because the lighting in here is, it's not the best. But yeah, I'm just gonna curl my hair a little bit here. Get ready for dinner. Babe, what time is it? 7.30. 7.30? Okay, so I have 15 minutes to get ready for dinner. We made it easy for ourselves and we just did a reservation for the restaurant that's in the hotel that's just downstairs for tonight and our reservations at 7 45 which is the last reservation that they take you guys know we love a late dinner we were trying to make it for like 8 p.m or something but they don't do it that late so we're gonna do this it's fine, it's fine. and then i just need to pick out my outfit <laughs> I'm bound to find something because I overpacked like so much, but I mean, I could, right? Like it's a car ride. It was a road trip here. So I could pack as much as I wanted. It doesn't even matter. And I thought I overpacked, but watching some people unpack their cars, like holy heck. I guess I don't know how long they're staying. There's that aspect, but I think I was just imagining they're staying the same amount of time as me and they just pack the same amount too. <laughs> Babe, what did they have to end up doing with the door? He said he changed the motor. Oh, wow. Yeah. He basically said everything that could go wrong went wrong. Wow. The battery, the motor, everything. Okay. So if you didn't hear Juan, what he said was, the guy, the engineer, said that practically everything that could have gone wrong with the door lock to enter in went wrong. The battery was dead, but also the motor was bad. So they had to replace the full motor, but then also recharge and replace the battery as well. And they had to like essentially drill and knock down the door to get in because there was no other way for them to get in this room because their master keys and everything wasn't working obviously on the door if the motor was bad oh my god but yeah i cannot believe all of that happens it's kind of insane and i'm so proud that we are just like not letting it bother us at all i mean we're only here practically for a day and a half i mean we're here today which is really late on friday we're here for a full day saturday and then we're leaving first thing sunday morning so it's like a really quick turnaround okay let's continue to get ready so curling my hair i use this new me i got this so long ago i was influenced to buy this but it's honestly a really good curling wand i prefer curling wands over ones that have the thing the thing because the thing always leaves like indentations in my hair and i hate that and then i switched out the barrel for the largest one that i had because i didn't want full-on curls i just wanted like a bend in the hair like a little bit of a wave and so that's what this gives me and plus my hair doesn't really hold any curls at all either so i either brush through it which i'm doing right now with my fingers or i'll also take my brush and I'm not afraid to just like brush through it as well. And there we have it. Done. Now I just need to figure out an outfit. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the kitchen because I feel like it has the best lighting right now. 
But this is my outfit for dinner and it's just downstairs so I feel like it's just pretty easy, it's pretty simple and I don't have to wear a jacket. Although I think Juan saying that maybe after dinner like we can go outside and see what's around and it's freezing here. You guys, it's like 11 degrees at night, like 10 degrees, it's freezing. So I definitely need a jacket. Everything I brought was like really warm snowshoes like all of that but anyways i have on this sweater it's like a light gray sweater my favorite jeans ever obviously couldn't forget to bring them on this trip and then i have on these camel color booties that i got from zara like the color combination and then i'm just gonna have my bottega bag with me as well i like the sleeves on this though it's like pretty wide and i ended up tucking this up into my bra because it is a fairly long sweater but i wanted to make it like a little bit shorter this is our outfit <laughs> hello hello we are on our way to dinner Babe, do you already know what you're having? Because I know no, you looked I at the menu. No you don't know? No. Mm, I think I already know what I'm having. Oh no, my shirt's coming untucked. <laughs> there. We're going to the pit. We're going there. I zoomed in on it. That's our destination. This darkness has to be something cool. We'll show in the morning. We'll see what it is. Our venture down to this fire pit though. Where? Oh, let's walk over to there if I can. You guys, I almost just fell flat on my ass right now. There's so much snow and I'm wearing stupid boots. Like, are you? S I'm so stupid. <laughs> A pool. Oh my God, it looks so steamy and so warm. People are just full on in their bathing suits. Feel it. Do you want to go feel it? Go. Marco. Hello. Hello. Marco. Oh wow, yeah, that's warm. That's nice. Marco. Cute little sun Kenya. Oh my god, it's freezing. Am I gonna just like bite it? Babe, you're leaving me high and dry. Good morning, good morning. We are just getting dressed into some snow outfits so that we can venture outside. Look at Juan all bundled up. But um, let's give the official room tour now that it is light outside. My hair is a bit staticky. Let's go to the front door. Okay, so this is the view right when you walk in over to the left here just the lighting is a little bathroom which is really nice when Juan was taking a shower I was in here do like doing my hair and everything this don't even know ah a washer and dryer nice and then walking straight over to the left is a full kitchen which has been really nice I brought like my cereal Juan brought like some bread to make toast and his green juice that he likes to eat too like i brought like full-on like my oatly and everything in here so this is really nice to have like a full-on kitchen here's like a little console table over on this side and then continuing on into the living room the living room is gorgeous it's very like cabin vibes i love like the fireplace and all the wood everywhere the wood beams going all the way up to like the chandelier love 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 the vibe of it here is the dining room table i got a bunch of like my snow stuff out i'm gonna wear this jacket i think and i'm gonna bring like my snow pants too and a beanie um did my makeup out here too because of all the natural light which is really nice but here's like a little map of the sunkadia trails and the resort area too so we're like over here and the entrance is over here <laughs> Here is the view. So we're in the very front. So down here is the valet and the entrance and all of that. But wow, 
little bit of a winter wonderland, right? I'm so excited to go venture out today. Hey, one. So here's the living room from this way. This is probably way better lighting to see everything. It's so cute. I love this place. Don't you like it? Yeah. Once we finally were able to get in. <laughs> and then there is a hall that leads to the bedroom. This is, I don't know, like another hall closet that has just spare stuff in here. Here is the bedroom. We did not clean up at all. I kind of like, oh, you did. Juan kind of like made the bed. So that's special for you guys. It was a little bit of a mess in here. There's no overhead lighting. It's just the lamp. So it's going to be a little bit dark in here. Juan's stuff is over here. And then I have my whole side. I have some stuff that I put like on the nightstand here, like all my electronics and then a bag full of like electronics and little goodies too. My perfume. We need to put that on here in a second. This closet is where I pretty much just like put all of my stuff. You guys, I brought such a big suitcase for... Let's turn on the light. I brought such a big suitcase for <laughs> literally a day and a half. It's so funny. Just close that a little bit. And then here is... The bathroom it is really massive which is nice so that's that a little bit of perfume on okay let's come back out here to the light and i'll show you my outfits so i have on this lululemon fleece half zip it's the men's section one i've showed it to you guys before i love it but i wanted something that was high neck and also something that was a little bit warmer to layer with so just threw this on over top of the lululemon mock neck long sleeve this is like the aligned fabric so it's going to be like sweat wicking and everything which i'm really excited about but also it covers my neck i double layered my aligned pants so i have two layers of leggings on and then my boots are moon boots i just got them moon boots are like some of my favorite snowshoes so this is what we're wearing and like I mentioned, I'm going to bring this jacket and wear it too. It is my Aritzia Super Puff Long. And this, I think it, the color is called Dry Basil Green. Love this. And I love how long it is. So that way it'll cover like most of my legs and keep my legs warm since I am only wearing leggings. And then if we go sledding or whatever, I brought some snow pants to throw over top of all of this. So this is the fire pit we were at last night. And you guys, look at what was in the darkness and what was behind. Holy shit, this is so beautiful. Wow. And then here's part of the resort too, from the backside. Babe, isn't this so pretty? Yeah, it is. Like, Maybe. it's just like mountains, like rolls and rolls of, mount of trees. Like, it's... We can check later if the so clouds pretty. are not there anymore. Yeah, it's really cloudy today. Yesterday would have, would have been like a perfect day because it was so sunny and clear. <laughs> Oh, over here, babe. Look. Mm -hmm. See the sun trying to come through over in this section? Time for some sledding! Very excited. You want to look your right? Or yeah. Your Get it and go first. Me first? Yeah, go for it. Hop in. Go. Do you need a push? Look at him go. Babe, push me, but get in and go too. Are you gonna go? Get in on what? On yours or mine? No, yours, next to me. Like, push me a little bit, but. Oh god. They push, don't hit.
Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. Putting on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. How was your sledding experience? Rate it. Oh, it was like 8.9. 8.9? That's it? <laughs> what would have made it better? No, it, it would have been... A steeper hill? Steeper. Yeah. Lots of kids. But so much fun. I don't remember the last time that I went sledding. I had a been on like a kid or something. Oof, amazing. And yeah, now that the sun's out, it's a little bit better, but it's still like freezing cold. What? That way? We're trying to walk over to where the skating rink is. I think it's right here, babe. We plan on coming to the ice skating rink later today, like at night. I think that that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. It's not even open yet. There's no one here. This is gonna be so much fun. beanie head but we are at the inn and we're gonna go for lunch right now back at the resort and we're just like walking around a little bit this is the part that was like super foggy this morning it really cleared up it's really beautiful up some hot cocoa, no cream, Juan got a latte, yeah. oh. oh, I also got two things to bring back home, we love to collect magnets everywhere we go, so I got this little Suncadia magnet, it's kind of cute, and then I ended up getting a long sleeve shirt too, so Suncadia, the smallest size that they had was a medium, but I thought that it would actually like work perfectly for loungewear. Even like with whip leggings, like what I'm wearing right now. I think it'd be really cute. And it's like really lightweight and light gray is like my favorite color, so. This works perfectly. 2.30, we're gonna go ice skating between four to six and then we have dinner after that. So we can just chill bit for yeah. a few hours. What's your plan? Nothing else? I did bring um, a book. Maybe I can like sit here and read a little bit too. I know that there's like the lobby and the parking lot like right below, but just like sitting here, babe, and seeing this view of you sitting like in it, you're just in the trees and in the mountains. Babe, it's so cool. Can you imagine like waking up and having that view every day? Yeah. This has been so much fun, guys. So much fun. Let me show the view. See what I'm seeing. If it can do it justice, the backlight. Oh, there you go. Babe, you're just a shadow <laughs> in the trees with the mountains. <laughs> do you want to watch something? Together? Or do you want to watch like your YouTube stuff for a little bit? No. Yeah, hacks or something. Yeah. We can watch an episode of Hacks. What do you think? So hot, but so chocolatey. So much better than Starbucks. This is like actual real hot chocolate. Wow. Wow, that's really good, babe. It's like double chocolate. Mm. Do you want to close? Oh, yeah. I can close it a little bit. Well, the ladies, I thought this was like 
gay crew. Yes, lesbian. It's that time. We're going ice skating right now. I completely changed my outfit. I'm wearing my Canada Goose jacket, but I'm also wearing snow pants too because with the sun going down, it's getting extra freezy. He's too quick. He doesn't want to stay with me and skate with me. I have to force him to. <laughs> Okay, babes, we are ready for dinner. I'm gonna turn on some lights here. And I'll show you my outfits. Can we do it here or is it gonna be terrible? You ready, babe? I'm just doing an outfit of the day really fast or an outfit of the night. So I'm wearing this Aritzia sweater. I got it a while ago and I shared it in a Aritzia haul video that I did. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I have on these a Goldie jeans. It's like a, a darker wash and medium wash. I talked about these in my November favorites video. I'm really obsessed with like this color wash lately. And then I have on these cream booties. And then I was gonna throw on this cardigan, but it's like a cardigan jacket and it's really heavy and warm. So I'm hoping it'll work well. Pick this up from Revolve. The sleeves are crazy long, but what I'm just doing right now in the meantime is rolling it up and that works quite well. I might throw another jacket on over top of this. We'll see though. There we have it. This is the full look. So I'm actually really excited for where we're going to dinner tonight. It is at Swift Water Cellars, which I can't say that word. I say like I'm saying cellars, like I'm selling you something. Cellars. Cellars. Is that right? Um. A winery, whatever. <laughs> it's a winery nearby. Suncadia is like a four minute drive. It's super close by but they have like an incredible menu. So I'm really excited to go there. And it looks really pretty. It has like, it's like a big building with tons of lights, like Christmas lights and all that sort of stuff. So I'm excited to go there, see what the food's all about and maybe order a glass of wine or two. Are you down for wine, babe? Yes. Okay, let's go. We have 15 minutes, plenty of time. You didn't turn off the Thing, right? What thing? I did, I unplugged it. I unplugged it? Go look. Sure. Yeah. I unplugged it with you in the bathroom when you were brushing your teeth. How'd you not even notice? I feel like Juan's memory and hearing is just going down the drain. <laughs> I like do things right in front of him and he's always like, did you do this? I'm like, yeah, I did it right in front of you. Let's see if this jacket's too, is it too bulky? It's too bulky. I can't fit all these layers. No, that looks absolutely terrible. Let's try this jacket. This is the only other jacket I have. So it's gonna have to work. Oh yeah, there's more room in the arms on this one, at least. We have the purse, go to the bathroom. See you there.
the lighting in this place is wonderful. So good morning. It's not even 7 a.m. yet. And you guys see the jersey. So you know what day it is. It is World Cup Day. Argentina is starting to play in nine minutes. And Juan is a nervous wreck. He couldn't even sleep last night. He woke up like no joke over five times. <laughs> and I'm such a light sleeper that I woke up with him like pretty much every single time. So I'm like so tired. That's okay because Argentina is going to win. I'm so nervous though. I'm so nervous. So this morning, so today's checkout essentially. And checkout's pretty early. 10, uh, we might push it to 11. So this is all we're doing this morning is watching the World Cup. Wish us luck. <laughs> That was insanely emotional, but due to like all the extra time, we're like late checking out. So we're trying to run around, get all of our stuff together. But yeah, the game, if you didn't watch it, it went into 30 minutes of extra time and then ended up going into penalty kicks. Um, but Argentina won the World Cup. <sighs> so exciting. The perfect end to the perfect weekend getaway. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed spending this vacation and this little weekend getaway with us. If you guys have never been to Suncadia and are in the area, like live in Washington, I highly recommend that you go. I've never been during the summer months because I know they have like a full golf course and stuff like that. So I, I don't know about the activities then, but I feel like I should come back in the summer and see what it's all about but highly recommend all of like the winter activities to come here during like christmas and the holidays it's so festive and i love like all the decorations and everything so it was so much fun i'm so excited that we did this we never do stuff like this but anyways i'll see you guys in two days in my next vlogmas video i am officially off work until the new year so i'm gonna be pumping out more videos bye guys love you guys so much Mwah. Bye -bye.